the story. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum. There are so many things wrong with this entire picture and no this is not from me just being like oh i guess time the shadows did this i guess that means it's free game for everybody to start doing this <laughs> no i mean i'm doing this because it was on my shelf for like a hot minute but i was like do i really want to do a negative review so soon and i keep thinking about all the people saying i should do more negative reviews so i figured myself why not just dig into justin bieber's yummy from his whole entire breakout career into R&B music. Still though, Justin Bieber's song Yummy from his brand new album of Who Gives a Shit because it's Justin Bieber. All I can really say is about this song is that I've honestly couldn't cared less hearing a song than I did with this bullshit here. It is honestly astonishing to have a song that is so bad that every single amount of care that you have is just tossed out the window then out the window there's just like a man walking his dog and the dog just shits on the not giving a fuck and then the not giving a fuck gets eaten up by some worms which then vomits up that not giving a fuck to then just be rejected from being grown because the ground itself is sending it to hell where every single person in the inferno is just pushing it away until finally the man in the ninth circle is just looking with his three heads like, I ain't touching this shit, and then just banish it into oblivion. That is how bad this song actually is in all seriousness, because... And here's the thing that a lot of people are kind of trying to be like, but it's Justin Bieber, he's growing. A lot of the other songs were a lot more of his whole kitty kid thing. This is him as an adult. I'm just gonna be real with you guys over something I have figured out years ago. What good song has come from Justin? I'm trying to state this because I've tried to dive into many of Justin's songs over the years. People saying, what do you mean, or sorry, or the baby, or one less lonely girl, or whatever the fuck you guys want to say was just like that breakout hit for him. I just kept listening to all the lyrics and I just kept thinking to myself, wow, there are a lot more singers that could do a lot better. In fact, certain people that have done worse than Justin, by a long standpoint, have done better than him. Like, this is the only time I'm going to say this, but KSI makes better music than Justin Bieber. And yes, I will be bathing in bleach for saying that. There is so much just not right about any of this. People want to say that the chorus is catchy, it's very noticeable, it makes you want to remember the track. Honestly, the entire chorus sounds like if you take two different ghost writers into a room and then they're just like, okay, uh, Dan, what should we do? Yeah, I don't really know, Phil, uh, it kind of seems a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a, a bit of a head scratchy here. He's paying us to write something that's R&B related, but supposed to be for like a, uh, college level thing well when you put it like that uh what do the kids nowadays really say though i don't know i think they still say yummy like remember when you were with your four-year-old i think they still say that the kids still say that shit uh, i see yeah yeah we, we gonna go with that we're gonna put like yummy in the chorus the kids gonna love that shit they're gonna be thrilled for it you're so dumb you are really dumb and no one was thrilled because that is just the basic format of hey because we're trying to do R&B and we're trying to get some writing done for this why don't we just do what apparently is part of the youth culture for the ladies and the kids forgetting the fact of realism also does the trick like guys I don't really want to compare apples to oranges but let's look at Charlie Puth for a minute about one of his songs that kind of has an R&B flow. The man knows how to manipulate the emotion with every single variety, making sure that the language barrier just didn't just 
fall flat on its face, making sure that you know what's gonna come out of this, whether it's for a sad R&B track or for an upbeat one, where there aren't a lot of punches being pulled for the sake of numbers, but because they're trying to make an actual song that the ladies and kids will love so that the men will buy. Justin doesn't do that. Instead, it's more of a blank circle of events where you make something that is bland by numbers, you sing something that's bland by tone, and then push out something that's bland by execution. That whole circle of blandness is pretty much what you get when you have a song like Yummy, because it's a very dead soul track. There is no vibrancy, there is no memorability, there is no nothing. The fact that this song is as popular as it's gotten on the Billboard Top 100s isn't because of raw talent or raw emotion or even production value. It's because the name Justin Bieber is so synonymous, they're just like, oh, well, since Justin did this, let's just give it a pass and make sure he gets a lot of awards. But if he slides down the numbers, let's just make sure he pushes that on TikTok since he's getting married and pushing that on YouTube Red or whatever the fuck he wants to do with that shit to make himself as relevant as Jake and Logan Paul because those two names are a very good association for what we're trying to push for YouTube while we also take out Chilled Cow. All I'm saying is there is no semblance of a smart execution with this. When you make something that is heartfelt, that is very potent and powerful, that goes a lot more with a residency and actually can invest in a better future. But when you push trash like this, this is why a lot of people wonder where good music is. When you make something that is heartfelt, sincere, and really with the times, like say, Mob Deep or Lauryn Hill's one and only album or Rock Him or just a few of the songs that Will made when he got in his older years, like Lost and Found, as just like small examples. Or, how about this? Isla's two EPs as an upcoming artist in the modern day. Stuff from Snow to Product. Or even songs from Alyssa Marie, for that matter of fact. Those songs hit so hard and have enough residency to entertain but also lay the seeds for more artists to grow and to flourish because they have stronger idols to just study and emulate for a long amount of time before they find their proper sound and then make said music to then be more of a testament to time. But the way the music industry wants to push everything of trash begins trash is why we don't have the good music that other people want. It's very hard to have good artists that can make a good enough message that can be conveyed and then be promised to a huge variety of people because they just want to make sure that the big names, even if they make shit for shit, get the better appeal and better attention. Billboard knows this. A lot of different music magazines know this. Hell, TV interview hosts know this. But no one wants to call them out on it. But I've already said enough about this whole topic, about the whole behind the scenes, because I couldn't really be bothered to do a full-blown analysis of lyrics about anything else, because what's there to really even talk about with Justin Bieber anymore? The boy has already outlived his whole fame and success. He's just a name. A simple boy with a name that Usher just tried to get enough money out of for the time being, and didn't really give a shit about for a lot of different reasons and so forth and so on, and blah 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 blah. So let me just put the whole rating system here and be done with it. I'm gonna give this two out of 13, giving it a F plus, giving it zero, not even zero, because that's too mean. I'll give it one out of seven stars and literally give it the, I guess the cup of sorry try again. I just made that award up myself because this is just so unforgivably dumb that I couldn't even be bothered to be doing too, too much with it. If y'all want to tell me how good Yummy is, I will hear all your stuff in the comments below. I really couldn't care. I already have my own opinion on it, but if y'all want to try and change my mind about Justin Bieber of all people, y'all go ahead. I got better reviews to write up for in the music genre stuff. This was very depressing. You crazy mother-